MPS6, also known as marital LeMay, is an autosomal recessive disorder that leads to accumulation of the glycosaminoglycans throughout the body. It does not affect learning and cognition or behavior um, as opposed to the other MPS disorders. But it is still a quite severe disease. The accumulation of gags throughout the body lead to coarsening of the facial features, uh, impacts growth and of uh, uh, growth, as well as um, cardiac function. Uh, can have valvular dysfunction, cardiomyopathy develop. Uh, pulmonary effects include restriction and obstructive uh, patterns on pulmonary function tests and uh, can lead to upper airway um, narrowing and difficult intubations, recurrent ear infections requiring myringotomy tubes uh, with long-term hearing loss as possible. Um, their skeletal features uh, often lead to contractures of the hands, flexion contractures of the fingers and hands, as well as contractures throughout shoulder abduction and uh, tricep extension and hamstrings. Their hips can be severely dysplastic, leading to um, erosion of the femoral head. You can also have valgus deformity at the knees, requiring multiple surgeries. Um, over time, the disease can progress and leading to uh, assistive devices for walking and ultimately wheelchair. Um, some severe forms of MPS6 uh, lead to severe obstructive sleep apnea and even apnea or restriction of air intake during the day requiring a tracheostomy tube placement. Um, the, there is an FDA approved therapy called naglazine, which is the IV enzyme replacement therapy given every week. And the data over 10 years worth of data has shown a, a, a positive impact on the mortality and morbidity of the disease. We are seeing uh, children and adults live longer. We're seeing improvement in their, their walking abilities based on the six minute walk test their pulmonary function has improved. And when you speak to the actual patients, they feel more energetic and sometimes they feel less stiff in their joints. And so the naglazine has a, had a positive impact on the disease. However, they still have a significant burden that warrants close surveillance and monitoring. One of the more severe uh, complications of MPS6 and other MPS disorders is the impact on the spine. The gags can lead to thickening of the ligaments and ultimately compressing the cervical spinal cord. And compression, if left untreated, can lead to quadriplegia and even impact breathing. So uh, children and adults need to undergo constant surveillance, annual surveillance with a neurologist, uh, looking at the neuro changes in the neurologic exam as well as imaging of the C-spine. Oftentimes, they do require neurosurgical intervention, um, including a laminectomy or a decompressive surgery to uh, lessen the compression on the C-spine. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be treated by the IV enzyme replacement therapy. And despite being on therapy for many years, patients may have to undergo this very um, risky surgery. Uh, the other risks are include hydrocephalus can occur or enlargement of the ventricles requiring ventricular per peritoneal shunt. And, um, those will manifest as headaches and intractable um, headaches and vomiting. And so again, uh, children and adults need to be under surveillance for those central nervous system manifestations of MPS6. Although their cognition and their learning and their language are completely normal, they still need to have neurologic surveillance. Over time, their flexion contractures can also be complicated by a compression neuropathy of the median nerve, and that'll lead to pain in their hands. It can be so severe, um, uh, warranting um, medication treatment, but that should also herald surveillance with EMG nerve conduction studies and possibly a, a surgical procedure to, quote, release the, the compression and sometimes the contractures of the hand. Those, again, don't seem to be necessarily prevented by en uh, enzyme replacement therapy.